This is from brownswire.com. Why it's time for the Browns to move on uh, from Jordan Elliott, defensive tackle. Touted as a pass rushing player with good athleticism coming out of Missouri, he only has 2.5 career sacks in three seasons. Elliott, a massive liability in run defense, pro football focus, gave him an abysmal 33 run defensive grade in 352 run defensive snaps this past season. Um, I, to me, that screams situational guy, rotational, and he shouldn't. If he's got, if he's got a 33 run defense or run grade, what the heck is he doing in there on first or second down? Unless it's second and about 20. That's rough, man. That's like at least be 50. Like, yeah. <laughs> I used to learn in college, like, hey, if I'm gonna fail this test. At least give me a high F. Give me like a 56 or something, bro. Like you, you could do, but if you got 33, look how many points you got to make just yeah. to get to a D. You got to get 30 whole more points. I said, listen, if you're going to be bad on run, at least be like, oh, I'm, I'm 62 and run. When you're a 33, I had to go see a PF, what PFF was talking about. I just went and started looking at it. I've been going through the offseason and I was like, let me start with the first game. I'm going to go with all 22 and look at somebody. Yeah, he just, uh, as a defensive lineman, he plays way too high. Um, there's too many plays where his pad level is high. There's way too many plays where guy, the guys are getting up underneath him. And, and when you get up underneath him, he's taking rides on this. And you're sometimes, you know, when he, you, you, we call it getting washed as a defensive lineman. Like, if, if a lineman is blocking down on you, you got to give some sort of resistance because what will happen is, They'll cave you all the way to the sideline, and it's a running lane right now. Now you got linebackers with the with running backs on them in two, three yards. You're like, whoa, whoa, where's the first level of defense? He just has a his pad level is high. Um, I, he's a strong kid, but I, I would like to see him play with better pad level. Then you can use some of that strength. But but just like they tell you in wrestling, and everything is about leverage. And when you're playing high, especially on the goal line, especially on rundowns you are going to get embarrassed in the league. And he just plays a little bit too high for me. The, the question is here, uh, how are we going to get where we need to go from unplayable in the middle to serviceable? Because I don't think Jim Schwartz is going to be able to go out and get all this, all these ingredients and all these other tackles and high, high price guys. He's going to have to revamp one of them. One of them either was Togi high or, or, or Tabor. Well, he's, I think he's a free agent again. He's going to have to figure out somebody on the roster that they can fix to get to at least a 60 and then say he's serviceable based on the way we coached him up. But I don't know if it's going to be Jordan Elliott or not. Well, let's put that in perspective. A 33 run grade means that you are only winning or completing your assignment in run defense one out of three times. <laughs> no, that that can't happen. You you and it, you go watch, yeah. and we'll show you what what needs to happen. It, it, that you, you can't have that. that. And if you're playing 350 snaps, they you, yeah. think about that. That's 33 percent of the 350. Yeah. So that's 200 some odd times high twos, right? That you're getting gash, hurt, not in the right place, or dominated. Yep. And that that's way too high.